Hey guys, Ali here, how's everyone doing? Okay, so today I'm in Vapiano. If you've been to Vapiano before, you know it's got a really, really cool concept. If you haven't, what you do is you basically get given these cards, which I'm gonna go over in a second. Uh, you go up and you order your food and they make it in front of you. So it's quite theatrical, it's pretty cool. So let's get cracking. So my food is here, I've got three mains. Uh, hopefully you can see them, I'm gonna do them one by one. Like I said, this place is kind of unique in the circle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, let me just redo these. Um, Hopefully you can see the food. So this place is kind of unique in the way you order. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through each dish and then I'll probably show you clips of how they actually make it. It's really cool. So let's start with the chicken Alfredo. What you do is you actually pick what you want. So I picked the chicken alfredo, uh, and then you pick what kind of pastas you want, like tagliatelle. You can have a penne, whatever. I've gone for penne. Uh, however, I know you're supposed to have mushrooms in alfredo. I can't stand mushrooms. I did not have these. <laughs> you will forgive me. Um, like I said, this is chicken alfredo. I actually doubled up on the chicken. Right, let's give it a go. Mm. I like the fact that you can kind of customize your dishes. For example, Alfredo is generally very creamy, which this is, lots of cheese. There's an egg in there as well, they mix it up. So it's got a very creamy, thick taste. I actually got chilies added into mine, which makes it taste really good. The pasta's cooked really well, it's super filling. It's a really, really good portion size. I'm gonna put all the prices in the description, but that is a great start. Right, so my next dish is actually a gambaretti. This one is with tagliatelle sauce, some cherry tomatoes, yuck. <laughs> no, I'm gonna move those to a side, but camera lady likes cherry tomatoes, so I, I have to eat them. So it's got some prawns, it's got a little bit of chili, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of parsley, a little bit of cheese. So let's give this a go. I'll try the pasta on its own first. I think if you like that flavor profile of the tomatoes and the chili and the garlic and prawns, you'll like that. I'm not a massive fan of prawns, if I'm, if I'm being honest, but the pasta itself is okay. Let's try the prawns. Yeah. Um, you know, if you like prawns, I imagine you'll find these super tasty. I'm not a fan of prawns. I think if I could get Camera Lady to do the review on this plate, I think she'll say it's a really, really good dish. It's very well balanced. Um, if you like prawns, give that a go. Okay, I love a good pizza. I've gone for the chicken spirati. This is a new one. It's got some chicken, some peppers, some chili, some garlic. I'm gonna, this looks pretty, this looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. Mm. Mm. This is perfect for me. I prefer thinner bases. Actually, let me know, comment down below, do you prefer a thinner base? or do you prefer like a Romana thin sort of base or a thick, thick pizza base? I actually much prefer thin bases because you taste the toppings more, less calories. My brother's trying to lose weight here, man. <laughs> this is cool. Also, they do an elderflower mint iced tea, actually. I thought I'd give that a go. Yo, that's pretty good. It's not gonna change my life, but it's, it's pretty good. It's not, hey man, but that's not bad. Hey guys, so sorry, I'm just splicing this in the video. It's actually a little bit of a bonus dish. As you can see, I'm ready to go home. They give you these really, really cool uh, takeaway boxes, but I was walking out and I got a, 
I got a smell of a really, really cool dish. This is called the Pollo Picante. I thought I'll give that a go. It's a linguine, some pak choy. Um, it just smells absolutely unbelievable. So I thought, you know what? Guys, I'm doing, I'm doing it for you. Look, this deserves a like because I mean, all this delicious food is for you guys. <laughs> This has got a very different taste to the other dishes because it's actually chili orange, which is a bit different, right? I can taste it in there, actually. It's kind of sweet, actually. That's pretty good. If you like, I think if you like sweet and sour chicken, for example, it's got a similar-ish profile, weirdly, to that. Um, that's pretty good. What I would say, for me, I'm not a massive fan of sweet uh, mains, but if you like sweet and sour, which seems to be so popular, orange chicken is so popular, you will love this. But yeah, I just had to get a quick little, um, little taste of it but just a quick one again how cool are these takeaway boxes man like you have i would pay for these these are really really cool okay so back to the video now in the normal chronological order which should be towards the end because i finished it and i've spliced it you know what i mean you know what i mean in a second but the ali that's about to talk in a second he has not tried this dish so he cannot comment on it this is pretty good anyway back to the video Right guys, so that was my quick uh, snappy review of Vapiano. Have you been to Vapiano? Let me know, what do you think of it? I think it's a really, really cool restaurant. I know they've got a few chains in the UK. I like the concept. I like that you can actually go up to somewhere and actually see what they're doing. Um, one thing I will say, however, this place is halal. However, however, this is important. They serve alcohol, which I know is an issue for a lot of people. So that's something that you need to be aware of. They do serve alcohol here and B, the beef mint dishes are not halal so that means the bolognese or the meatballs so anything that uses beef mints is not halal everything else is so the fillet of beef is halal the chicken is halal obviously there's also seafood but the beef mint is not halal just as uh, just to remind you i'll put that in the description as well uh, i don't want someone coming here thinking everything is halal and ordering lots of the, the lasagna and the meatballs and the not halal so just to reiterate beef mint is not halal i think i've said that about six times so <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking by to the end of the video. It always means a lot when you do that. It helps me out. Uh, do drop me a like. That helps the channel out as well. I'll see you on the next video. I've got lots planned. But until then, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.